Hey everyone, welcome back. What is this? Look at that. Forgive the random strand of hair floating through the air. There is a fan right in front of me because it is very hot here in Milan. We are finally approaching summer and out of nowhere, I had this urge to do a wardrobe switch. I do my wardrobe switch every year, twice a year, highly recommend it, even if you have a huge closet, just so that you get a sense of what you have, what you need to maybe give away, what you need to repair, what you need to incorporate into your wardrobe. And it's also a great moment to analyze what you have been wearing and why. As I was rummaging through my pieces, I realized that there are a few elements that unexpectedly have been making my my last summers a little bit easier to style. I know that when it is really hot, we feel flustered, we don't even want to make the effort to look good, but these items really do take the wondering out of the process and make things breezy and easy. So today I'm sharing with you seven style essentials you did not know you needed. Beginning with the tunic dress. Now the tunic dress is quintessential summer to me. I feel that it is a shape and and a form that screams summer. You can take it really, really bold to a whole printed caftan. I think that looks so glamorous. But if you want to be a little bit more practical, going for something like this that is breezy, light. This is a white linen mix from H&M. On the hanger, doesn't really seem like much, but this is the perfect blank canvas if you want to do some styling. So you can wear it as is, you know, kind of loose with a pair of flats, maybe a little raffia bag, maybe a hat or your hair pulled back in a bun. Very easy, allowing the air to flow, not clingy to the body. But the great thing about a tunic dress that is a little bit more neutral is that you can style it up for the evenings. So you can belt this up, you can throw on a pair of heels, you can put on some beautiful earrings. And what I love about tunic dresses is the collar. So the neckline that has this lash allows you to actually play around with necklaces as well. So you can put something underneath, a little peekaboo action going on. So you end up getting a lot of wear out of a piece like this. It's also great for traveling because it has that multi-functioning aspect to it. Great as a beach cover-up, great for running errands. If you're a little bit cooler and you think you can pull it off, you can even pair this with a pair of sneakers. The world is your oyster when it comes to tunic dresses. Another very easy to style piece are pull-on shorts. I've talked extensively about my love for the midi length pleated skirts, usually with the elasticated band. You can call this their more casual brother, if you will. I much prefer this to a pair of jeans. I much prefer this to a mini skirt or to leggings because they are very easy as a piece. As the name says, you just pull them on, but you get a much more charming, much more delicate, much more stylish result. And even though they are the more casual brother of the pleated midi skirt, I think there are some details you need to consider so that it doesn't look too sloppy. First of all, they have pockets, they have the waistband, they're a little bit more structured. Also, the choice of fabric you go for will make a big difference. So you'll see that I went either with block colors like this in this sort of linen oatmeal beige or in this very basic black or some more classic prints like this animal print or this sort of more nautical maritime stripes. So instead of going for something too colorful, too out there, go for something that is already classic. Second thing to consider is the length. You don't want something that is too short because it will look like you're going to the beach. You want something that will hit maybe a few inches above your knees, just so that it doesn't look like you're naked. Thirdly, and most importantly, is the waistband. Now you'll see that the elasticated part is in the back. In the front, you get a very smooth, very flat band. This is what you want when you're looking for pull-on shorts. It makes a world of a difference when you put something in them, tuck a shirt in or a top in. You get this very smooth, very well-finished, 
front. In the back, nobody really cares, but if you have that structure in the front, it looks a thousand times better. So try to avoid something that is too elasticated in the front and you'll have a much better result. Then in terms of shoes, and I have been talking about this style of shoes for a few seasons now, but I feel like they're really catching on. They're becoming very trendy and easier to find as well. So take advantage of the moment and jump on that train because the meal sandals are here to stay. I love this style of sandal because they are so feminine with the exposed foot. You can actually pair these with any of the clothes that I show you today and they will elevate that look. You have one option here that is a little bit shorter heeled. This I got in a local kind of smaller Italian brand. Not sure if they ship worldwide, but I'll try to find something similar and link it down below. Just like with any of the other pieces that I show. It's a great little number to wear in lieu of sneakers, in lieu of ballet flats, in lieu of flip-flops. Don't go out in public in flip-flops, okay? You just slip them on and they instantly make you look more chic, more glamorous, more girly. And if you want something a little bit more formal, a little bit more dressed up, something like this in this beautiful kind of black notebook suede. This is from a Brazilian brand called Schutz, but I know that they are present worldwide, so I'll try to find the exact pair and link them down below as well. You can see that it is a little bit higher. The arch of this type of sandal is very flattering. You get a lot of exposed legs, so very elongating, extremely complimentary and makes you feel very feminine. You do not worry as much. I feel like these are actually easier to walk in than for instance in a pair of pumps. I don't know why, but I can stay on these for a couple of hours and with pumps I just want to cut my feet off after a few minutes. Call it the miracle of meals, but yeah, absolute essentials that I do think you'll get a lot of wear out of. And of course, this is a style video I cannot go too long without mentioning scarves. In fact, I was thinking of doing a part two of my scarf video. If you haven't watched part one, you can find it here. You will see that these scarves are huge. So these are kind of pano perio style scarves. They are very, very big. We're talking 130 centimeters, 53 inches. So pretty large. The reason why I love these for summer is that even though something big and wide as this might be difficult to wear as a traditional scarf like around your neck stuff like that this is great for styling as a piece of clothing you can make this into a top you can make this into a skirt you can make this into a bag you can make this into a little sort of cover-up for your shoulders you can even wear this as a beach mat just to make things a little bit more stylish a little bit more instagrammable i think it adds that touch of luxury, that touch of sultriness that is also kind of unexpected because no one wears scarves like this anymore. I just think that finding new ways to wear your pieces, no matter what they are, can be a dress, can be shoes, can be a scarf, is always smart. Another finishing touch that I think is a very, very worth it are not headbands. I have a bunch, as you can see, because they just look so cute. They add that sort of made up, styled element to your hair that is very useful when it comes to summer vacation. So if you're going out of the pool, if the humidity in the air is making your hair frizzy, just by adding a little headband with a knot, and I do think that the knot makes a difference, Throw this with a little low bun or with your hair natural. Just frames your face in such a way that looks like you actually made an effort with your hair when you actually didn't. And even for nighttime, I mean, how cute is this one? I got it from H&M thousand years ago, but they always make new versions. So I'm sure you'll find something similar with the embroidery and the sort of navy velvet. Why does this say Etruscan princess to me. I don't know, but it does. A finishing touch. Just something that will make life easier. You won't have to spend hours styling your hair. Just add a headband and you're good to go. One of my biggest challenges fashion-wise when it comes to summer is staying at home. 
Here in Italy, it's not very common to have air conditioning inside, so we do suffer a lot. And if I'm working from home, I have a big window right next to my desk and it starts boiling and boiling and boiling. It gets really, really hot, but I still need to do my meetings. I still need to look presentable. So what I have been collecting over the years are house dresses. I think Josie here on YouTube and also the Daily Connoisseur, Jennifer, they do talk about this a lot which is the ease of just wearing dresses from day to day, especially when it's summer. We have this idea that dresses are a sort of going out outfit, something that needs a special occasion, something that you don't want to waste on day to day life. But I absolutely disagree. I think that wearing dresses can be very comfortable, very practical. These are dresses that are easy to put on, easy to take off. They look good when you're at home, they don't look like you're overdressing, but they are also appropriate to go out. So if you have to run an errand, if you have to just get a breath of fresh air in between meetings, you do not have to change to look presentable. First are the sort of prairie style dresses. I like them so much that I actually have the same in two different colors. What I love about this type of dress is, first of all, the neckline is very feminine, very delicate. You can keep the sort of squared, more scooped neckline, or you can wear it off the shoulder, which is always great if you're maybe in the park, you want to get some sun on your skin without being in a bikini. This is in a linen, so very breathable, very light and very easy to throw on during the summer months. It has some smocking on the back, so it will sort of accompany your body as the day progresses. I don't know about you guys, I wake up very thin and then in the evening I'm bloated like a blowfish. So having something that is elasticated makes me feel comfortable all day long. The length of it hits around my shins, so it's not too short. I could actually shorten them, but I like having my legs a little bit more covered, but you could absolutely get this in a shorter hemline, will look just as beautiful. You can pair this with a pair of espadrilles, you can pair this with a pair of ballet flats, you can pair this with flat sandals, it'll always look good. Similarly, something like this would also be great in a beautiful blue color with the detail of the knotted sleeves. It is looser on the body, so again, very comfortable. You can belt this if you want to, or you can wear it loose. I think that the shorter hemline allows you to not have to belt it all of the time. These are also really easy to maintain. You throw them in the wash and maybe they'll get a little bit of creasing. You just steam them really, really fast and they're ready to go. For instance, what I'm wearing right now, this is a shirt dress from Benetton. It's beautiful, it's easy, it's comfortable, but the fact that it is in this sort of poplin fabric, it will crease. It won't be as easy to throw on as these. So I'll just wear this to go out and this to stay at home. Literally just throw these on and you look a thousand times better. Last but not least, is a light colored pencil skirt. This is a new addition to my wardrobe and it has become really quickly one of the most essential pieces for my summer looks. Just because it is a bit of a more elegant, more slender cut. So you look at a pencil skirt and you immediately think workwear, you think of more formal settings, you think of pairing this with a jacket, with a tailored top, with a shirt, and you absolutely can do it. But pairing this with a sort of t-shirt, more informal top, pairing this with a linen shirt for just going out shopping and some flat sandals is such a great little trick. Unlike an A-line skirt that, don't get me wrong, I still love it. I think it's beautiful, the flowiness of the fabric. This gives you a more sleek finish, so it will make you look a little bit more sophisticated. And if you get it in the right length, so not too short, not too long, you can even transition this into fall winter with maybe some knee-high boots. It will look beautiful with like a cashmere sweater, a longer coat over it. So again, a jack of all trades that you don't expect to get so much use out of, but you're always thankful to have in your wardrobe. This is it, everyone. These are some 
unexpected essentials that actually make dressing up during summer way easier as i said before i will link down below all of the pieces that i've mentioned either the exact ones or similar options that will kind of do the same function let me know down below if you have any essentials that you wear time and time again and that you feel elevate your summer wardrobe i would love to know hopefully you found this helpful and we'll see each other again next time bye bye